We've got lots to discuss. Welcome to my monthly, uh, what's trending in luxury fashion? We're also trying a new hairstyle. I don't know whether I like it or hate it. Jewelry's out, but we're changing things up. Okay, <laughs> links will be below or in the shopping prompt on the screen, kicking it off with fashion news. Now on a bit of a somber note, actress, singer, Fashion muse and icon Jane Birkin was sadly found dead in her home aged 76. Now, the official statement says that she died of natural causes. I think that that is the statement released by her family. I've also read places that she did have a battle with cancer. I mean, obviously we know that she lent her name to the Hermes Birkin bag, right? But in 2020, she did an, uh, like an interview with CNN and she said, bless me when I'm dead, um, people will possibly only talk about the bag. And I think that that's just a really sad thing that like out of all of her success and achievements in life, the thing that, especially within fashion, everybody is going to link her to is a bag. Starting things off on a sad note. Moving on to the List Index Q2 2023 has been published and this is my time to shine, ladies and gentlemen, because what's that? Though AV is the hottest brand of Q2, will they maintain the top spot? Let's see. But that is unsurprising. JW Anderson has been killing it for the brand. They dress Rihanna for the Super Bowl. Celebrity after celebrity has been seen in their stuff. They have really amazing celebrity um, faces uh, in their new campaign and all of that. They're just doing really well and good for Loewe. Good for them and good for JW Anderson. Again, in case you're unaware, List takes into account, List is more about trending stuff, okay? So it's what are people talking about? What are people posting about on social media as well as sales and Google searches? So it's not necessarily 100% purchases. It's all of the natterings and everything else that goes on around that, okay? Prada is number two. Prada, Prada was number one last quarter. Prada has like silently been doing very well for themselves. Versace, Versace climbed up from number eight to number three. They had that collaboration with Dua Lipa. They held uh, that amazing show in LA a few months ago. You know me, I'm a Versace girl in my soul, so I'm proud of them. Oh, they achieved record revenue with double digit growth in fiscal 2023. One, wonderful, good for them. Miu Miu is number four. And then finally we have Bottega Veneta at number five. They supported the launch of Air Afrique magazine. Um, they have BTS RM as their first ever brand ambassador. I didn't realize that was their first ever. That's exciting. Obviously the Andy Armo bag is having a moment, all of that. Now, List also tells us the hottest products of the quarter. Quiet Luxury is very much in full swing as per this list. You've got a Laura Piana cap on there. You've got the Longchamp Le Pliage, bit of a classic. Love that for them. The Row Flip Flops, the Alaya Fishnet um, ballet shoes, which have definitely been having a moment. I actually thought that the Crystal ones would probably rank on here more than the Mesh because the crystal ones are like, don't even bother trying to look for them, they're sold out everywhere. A pair of jorts. Loewe Raffia tote bag, unsurprising. I wouldn't be surprised if that tote bag was on these every single Q2, all right? We love a Loewe Raffia tote when it comes to the spring summer. Versace sunglasses, and number one is the Loewe tank top. That, listen, one thing about a basic is that you're gonna wear it all the time. I get it. Okay, and there's loads of other brands that are doing their own iter iteration of this. Uh, that's something that will be covered later on in today's video. Also, they have a section of breakout brands. So these are brands that their searches have shot up this quarter. So I thought this would be interesting. Laura Piana searches up 35%. Once again, the quiet luxury is in full swing. What are the most trending product? The Babouche Suede Mules. Posse? Never heard of them. Never heard of them, but I'm excited for them. Search is up 31% with their Alice Linen mini, mini dress. And then we have Goyard. Goyard um, have had their 170th anniversary this year. And the trending product is the mini Anjou tote bag, TBE tiny bag energy, you know, I approve. Uh, spotted on ASAP Rocky and Brooke Shields. Search is up 95% this quarter. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? 
<laughs> Never. Diesel is giving away show tickets. So for spring summer 2023, so this time last year they announced a similar thing which is on a first come first serve basis you can sign up on their website to get tickets to their Milan Fashion Week show in September. They're doing the same thing this year on September the 6th. Um, on their website you can sign up for tickets for their show on the 20th of September. I really love that initiative. I think that's a really amazing opportunity for the fashion lovers who do not work in the fashion industry. Chanel Metier is going to show in, what's that? Manchester. Come on the north. This might seem very random but Manchester has a very sort of old um, cotton manufacturing industry so really it's not that sort of um, out of the ordinary but I'm just happy about it because you know as a feather northern lass not a Manchester lass but you know the eastern version I'm happy for them and I think that this is going to be really cool and exciting and the show shows on the on the 7th of December LVMH are a premium sponsor of the Paris Olympic and Paralympic Games. Yes, okay. So, the Olympic Games set, are slated to bring in 4 billion TV viewers, 13 million spectators, and 20,000 plus journalists from all over the world. So, as a premium sponsor, um, different LVMH brands will be involved. So, we know that Louis Vuitton, Dior, Belluti, Sephora, and Moe Hennessy, um, Wine and Spirits, will be involved somehow, you know, throughout the Olympic Games. But also, Chaumet, the jeweler, will be designing the Olympic medals. I think that this is really interesting because we're starting to see, especially from LVMH, of all of the different, you know, like big fashion players, they're sort of trying to involve themselves into different aspects of culture, sport being one of them. And this is a very obvious move in that direction. Even if you look at like the invitees for uh, Pharrell's Louis Vuitton debut, you saw a lot of Premier League football soccer stars uh, in attendance, right? So it's starting slowly but surely. Formula One will be involved somehow, all of that, you know? Couture Week happened this month, and uh, just a few things to highlight. Schiaparelli, of course, was stunning as usual. Daniel Rosebery. Oh, he has a gift and I'm so glad that he's sharing it with us. Other brands to note, Tom Brown had their couture debut and um, Victor and Rolf celebrated their 30th anniversary and they sort of did updated versions of uh, other couture collections that they've done in the past. Victor and Rolf is very much tongue in cheek. They have a lot of fun with couture, which I like. I think it's, you know, it brings this whimsical edge to something that is, that tends to be like very serious. Another thing to note, Valentino showed jeans on the runway. Those are all beaded and everything was dyed meticulously to look as close to jeans as possible. Incredible. That's the kind of like sure level technical aspects that are so interesting. Coach Topia. Okay, so Coach has started this sort of offshoot brand called Coach Topia, which is all about sustainability. It's using um, dead stock materials from different coach collections to create this brand. Everything is very sort of one-off because of the limited um, quantity of things and also to promote this, you know, circular fashion recyclability. So they've got a pop-up in New York. It is until the 20th of August and each week has like special experiences. So if you are in the area and that is something of interest to you, it's in Soho, then drop by. Moving into new and noteworthy. Okay, not many collaborations, but MCM and Crocs. They already collaborated once last year, they're back again. This time the Crocs have a tiny bum bag attached to the front. You know how I feel about Crocs, okay? The bad news is that this is a Crocs collaboration. The good news is that Lindsay Lohan is the face. You know I come from a place of bias when we talk about Crocs. Nonetheless, I'm here to tell you that it exists. Phoebe Philo updates. 
Phoebe Philo, as we know, is launching her brand later this year, finally, after many years of speculation. A highly anticipated September release, people are also thinking that she's probably going to do it during Fashion Week. Anyway, more details we have. This will include ready-to-wear leather goods, jewellery, eyewear and footwear, over 150 pieces during this first collection and it will be shipping to the UK, Europe and the USA. That is the only information I have. I will keep you updated as we get more. Next collaboration is between Marc Jacobs Heaven brand, which is their like Gen Z, very successful brand and Blue Marine, who also has been just shooting Y2K into their veins. Very small collaboration, there's only 11 pieces involved clothing and bags um and it was shot in like a high school giving and it was very much giving it was very very mean girls regina george would have been foaming at the mouth for this our last collaboration is cecily banson for asics again this is not the first time that they've collaborated you've got cecily banson this very sort of ultra feminine girly poofy dress brand with a sort of very practical dad sneaker brand so they've merged together they've joined forces there's a white and there's a black and it's sort of this mary jane-esque sneaker currently out if that's your vibe you might want to go for these now we move into hot new items so we were talking about the loewe tank logo tank that's been making waves everybody loves it okay loads of brands are also following suit you have Givenchy that have their little metal 4g um oh my gosh so many none of which i seem to be able to think of prada's got one with the metal as well now ysl has said i see your logo tank and i too would like to get involved you have got the cassandra tank um and look if this is if the success of any of the other brands has anything to go by jump on quickly while we're on the topic of saint laurent you know they have their reeve Duarte collection like section on the website which is an absolute treasure trove for gifts so good anyway they've launched more stuff including glass coffee cups very cute and other just cute essentially saint laurent merch if you're into that i see you i understand i'm a merch person as well then uh, go on there they've got some fun stuff like i said gifts limited edition versions of things take a look it's quite interesting summer is in full swing and the brands are dropping their wicker bags like it's nobody's business i don't think i've seen so many brands drop wicker bags as this year Prada once again wants to get involved. They've got their little wicker like tote bag. It comes with a long sort of crossbody thick guitar like strap, which I quite like. They're really fun. They're really giving the raffia bags a run for their money. Very different. The wicker bags are a bit more like um they're not evening-y, but they're the they're the structured, semi-grown-up version of a raffia tote. Do we understand? Are you with me on the vibes for this? Another bag that is launching soon, Schiaparelli is launching the Schiap bag. Uh, apparently this is a nickname of Elsa Schiaparelli, uh, growing up. Anyway, so this is a flap bag. I love how Daniel Rosebury described it as being like quite simple. I don't think it's that simple of a bag. I mean, it's a flat bag. We have this gold padlock detail on the front. You have this sort of ribbed quilting throughout. Comes in all black, black and white, and like a beigey, creamy white as well. Crossbody gold chains. This will only be available at Schiaparelli salons. So that is in certain they have certain hubs in america so they have like dallas los angeles new york and then you also have harrods and paris let me know if anything surprised you what do you think of this month's news i'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you've enjoyed it tell your friends if you haven't keep your mouth shut i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys